Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my stream. Uh, of course, joining me again, as always, is my good friend Gilded Tongue. Hello! And we are hopefully going to be uh, wrapping up Grim Fandango. That may or may not be the case, but if we're nearing the end, uh, Gildy will let me know, and we will go into overtime mode until yep. we finish the game. Uh, but if we're not, we can wrap up on the next stream day, which would be Monday. Mm. Uh, last, I keep wanting to say last episode as if this is a Let's Play, but it's not. It's live. Um, <laughs> we uh, last stream. Stream before rather. our live studio audience. Yes, pretty much. Happy New Year's, everyone, by the way. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, which I just dated this stream. Oops. <laughs> all survive 2020 you right know, that is enough for many people now it's new game plus yep um but yes uh last stream we uh oh sweet thank you for the cheer seth <laughs> oh my goodness you are just too kind i swear you spoil me um but yes last <laughs> i keep keep getting distracted uh, last stream, we, uh, we shanghaied a boat, and Manny somehow went from the gallery cook to captain, and then, as he pulled into port, was nearly assassinated by some custom agents pretending to be, uh, assassins. Or not, not pretending to be assassins, we're secretly assassins. Uh, yep. we managed, That's right, the other way around. Yes, we managed to escape from that, and we sank to the bottom of the ocean, and just happenstance happened to have uh, sank close to the area where Meche was last seen, or heard of, heard from, rather. And it's so a small afterworld. Right? And it's apparently flat, which is yep. really awkward, to say the least. Um, That's why Manny hates cats. He's afraid, you know, everything will be knocked off. <laughs> but um, we actually met Meche uh, again, rather. Yeah. She is a prisoner working for Domino, who is using this particular location to harvest a type of coral? Uh, I don't know I why. Like uh, he's also exploiting uh, angels or baby angels. To chisel it, which is awkward and weird as well. But apparently we are captives too, and we are stuck here doing his bidding. Um, but other than that, we, as far as I understand, we got to free the baby angels, convince Meche that we are not a bad guy, which we've seen Manny do some questionable things. Uh, Just a bit. In, in his pursuit to make amends to Meche <laughs> and, you know, work his sentence off. Um, and, yeah, we also got to stop Domino. Uh, I don't necessarily know how we're going to do all this, but we did get a tiny pickaxe and a thing of pantyhose that we accidentally yep. burnt. And so... Uh, I don't... Accidentally, yeah. Giant air quotes. Accidentally, air quotes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move us to the uh, uh, scene with the game, but getting tongue tied. Also, hey, Burham, I'm glad you could make it. Happy New Year to you too. Yay! So let us resume the game. So yeah, there's Domino wearing some cheesy sunglasses. And wearing earphones, headphones, not earphones. Uh, earmuffs. So, earmuffs. There's the pantyhose. We still got our scythe, amazingly enough. Yep. So. Um, we're we... actually gonna look to get back to where we came into this facility. Okie dokie. So we want to go back. And thanks for the gift. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, that was just a Christmas gift, man. Uh, you a you asked for it, and I had the money, and I could afford it, so I was more than happy to gift the game to you. 
I hope you enjoy it. I really sincerely do. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, well, we literally did just go underwater. Yep. Um, now, if we go left, we can uh, deal with the miners. Not the miners that we were dealing with earlier, but, you know, other miners. Oh, yeah. Aye, aye, order. Stupid chisel. I don't think he'll be happy with us. Who? Oh, you is it? Why, I oughta look at my eyebrows. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, <laughs> neither are you right now, amigo. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Understandable. Okay. Well, you don't want that big octopus to see you chatting. Cool, brother. That's right. Oh, that's... I didn't mean to end the conversation. I just... Chapito! Mm -hmm. Huh? Who? What? Alright. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How oh. you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Uh-oh, you have to trade Elvis. <laughs> right. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. I see. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? Uh... A gun? <laughs> a gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? <laughs> huh, I don't want to give my scythe away, but... Uh, okay, I will be doing some jogs. I woke up pretty late. Alright, take care, man! Uh, feel free to come back if you like. I hope the jog goes well. Uh, we can't give him the turtleneck. We're wearing that. I've never known <laughs> us to give away our clothes. Uh, I don't... Not really given. I, is this supposed to be the pantyhose? Uh, no. Uh, instead you have to show them stuff. Oh, okay. So I don't think you can I choose think whatever. It's some form of blue green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Mm, he's probably a pervert. Hey, Chappy, check out the hosiery. Say. These are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? <laughs> well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, oh, my shoot! First Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Uh, we don't have any bullets. We also could probably use that chisel. Maybe we have some more of his speed. Yo, Beto, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. Wow, really? <laughs> Just that <laughs> easy, huh? Being little chipper. Well, he's suddenly a lot happier now. Yep. Chipito! Ah! Quit yelling! Okay, well, cool. that's just all repeat stuff. Yep. Yeah. So... I don't know how I'd get down there without this current taking me over the edge. Alright, so... I'm Not here yet. Yeah. Can we talk to one of the miners? La-dee-da-dee-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
Virginia. Lay down your tools. We're busting out of here. Man, if I had only gotten oh, that book back from Terry, I could da, really da. start some trouble here. <laughs> okay, so no. Go to Mississippi. I can try uh, heading to the right. Uh, doesn't seem like I can. Or uh, let's see. Next, revisit the outdoor Nothing entrance and enter the right that hand direction. screen with the conveyor belt. Oh, okay, now I can. It's yeah. different. It's over here for some oh, reason. Oh, up. Yeah. By default, spins upward to water service. Those can be changed by lever controls. So. Get on the belt in the upper crane. Okay, I think I went in the wrong direction. A bit, but luckily this is a, uh, you know. LucasArts adventure game, so worst that we lose is time. Okay, I went down. Oh, oh hey, this isn't this where Glottis fell? Yeah. Is that the Titanic? Probably. No, it's the Lumbago. No, makes sense. And there's Gladys right there. Glass. Already upgrading. Right? You're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these ads? Apparently not. <laughs> I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. <laughs> I think this baby... Uh, 2003, Seth? Originally, the oh, game? Oh yeah, good Probably. point. Probably. This remaster, like 2017? Your idea's good too. Yeah. Okay, so I guess there's nothing we can do here until we can give him something. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. Okay, so now we know our friend Pilatus yeah. is alive. So now I know what's there, so we want to go yep. up. Uh, okay, now it's heading up. So we're going to want to head, uh, yeah, up. the crane. Yep, and we're going to want to uh, move it to the opposite side of the beach and lower the crane. Run down to the beach and use the bus stall on the chain. How do I go down? Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, I see how this yeah. map is working. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. That's a gun. That's the bus stall. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Jim. I love the creative design of this game. <laughs> you should have ran towards it before you clicked on it. You know what? You're absolutely right. 
Because Manny just loves to just suddenly start meandering. I mean... He's already dead, so no real rush. I suppose that's true. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's try his brain, leaving only a lengthy chain behind. We enter the crane and lower the chain into the grinder. Really? Yep. Don't put yourself into the grinder. Bone meal uh, is not something you would like to be right now. Absolutely not. Alright, chain uh, is in the grinder. Raise the crate, yep. I didn't even uh, intend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and maneuver the crane uh, back to the conveyor belt area. Oh, okay. Wow, I just guessed. Yep. The bunch up at the top. Uh, return to the conveyor belt controls and reverse by dragging the chain down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Alright. Okay. Come on, Manny. Shake a leg. Alright. Reverse the controls. So this is how we're going to get the boat. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. At least he had the presence of mind to grab onto the railing instead of yep. getting swept under. Actually, no, this I is this weird and not oh, yeah, particularly um, uh, intuitive. So, no, you're going to have to go, I guess, all the way back up to the... Um, uh, okay. Turn the conveyor control reverse when dragging the chains that work. Make conveyor, uh, conveyor controls go upward. Uh, chain pulls as are on the conveyor, reverse the conveyor control again, chain descend, snagging after. So you have to like go up, down, up. Okay, and that's from right here? Yeah. The conveyor control. Yeah, not terrain control. That is unintuitive. Once chain is snag, all that's left is to operate the crane control. So yeah, have it go upwards and uh, go up to the crane. That is really peculiar. <laughs> I can't believe you got it to float. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. I like how Gladys is able to modify anything. Yep. But I take it we're done here? Uh, uh, the murky dust not to the eastern beach. Remember to destroy the grinder's wheels. It's not meant to be optional. So, yep. We're all good. Third and last part mostly occur back inside the building. Uh, make sure to... Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to um, show Menche that we have a uh, way to get out of here by force. That does not sound good. <laughs> I think 
that it's gonna be an, it's gonna cause another misunderstanding. Impossible. Well, she did when you said you know you're gonna think of a way out of here. She was like, yeah, how? You were like, I don't know. I just can't help but feel like she's gonna feel like we're threatening her instead. Glottis yeah, greater well, than Launchpad McQuack? Oh, that... I don't know about that. <laughs> Launchpad McQuack has sur survived countless fatal airplane, car, yeah. space station, <laughs> satellite, rocket crashes. But I mean, Glottis could also rip out his own heart and force himself yeah. to not breathe underwater. <laughs> Tough call on that one. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take this moment to save. Yep, and as you can see, we're pretty far along by the mural. This does not feel. <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm just pointing a gun at a lady that is a good person. Doesn't seem intuitive. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Mitchie, you don't know what you- I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake wing boss. I'm gonna... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. That... she went off the handle on that one. A little bit. I mean, I get it, she was stressed and she didn't trust... Manny. Manny, for good reason. Yeah, but I mean, she didn't have a plan at all when she did that. What yeah. was up? Okay, okay. So now we don't have a gun, but we do have our scythe and the chisel. Yep. Well, let's see where he took. Um, he said the cooler. Uh, meant it. Yep. I don't I'm know. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, it's right here, really? Yep. I'm getting angry. <laughs> Domino, you'd better let me out of here. It's well, me, you Magic. Could learn how to safe crack real quickly. I'm in or here. You've got a tool for this. Oh shoot, you're right. I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore. <laughs> You're absolutely- I, I was like- the, wheel, the wheel's my friend. Uh, you'll have if to go for the, the um- me, I'm never gonna get in there. But if you go for the, uh- Is there anybody out there? Okay. Yep. Matter of location, location, location. This isn't funny! For the hinges, yeah. It's me, Mache! Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Yep. All right. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. This is the only well, other. At least we can now safe crack with. Uh... Ooh, I hate that sound. <laughs> okay. At least now we can safe crack with the ability to see what we're doing. Oh, okay. Oh, and the camera conveniently zooms in. Yep. So we're probably going to want this to turn so that there's a nice open... Uh, 
Okay. For many players, the segment may be a taller order. First off, misalign the tumbler. To misalign the tumblers, the goal is to make uh, the flat side perpendicular to the lock on the right-hand side. If it's done right, there'll be a noticeable gap where the bolt or rim can be seen. To do this properly, rotate the tumblers until the top one is aligned per perfectly, then rotate in the opposite direction for the tumbler below it. So yeah, we're gonna want that. Okay. I don't like how I can't adjust. Mm-hmm. That has to be good. Yeah, try scything it. Okay, I'm going to... Well, I was going to try and save right there. To save myself a few screens. Stay. There we go. First try. Nice. Okay. And then... Use the handle. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Mitchy, you can come out now. Mitchy? Uh, what? Okay. Bigger than your scythe, obviously. It's a cosa is heavy. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Mitchy, are you in there? It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. Hmm. Don't no, don't knock on it again. Hey a nap! Mitchy, I'm glad you could make it. It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. Hmm. Maybe she's behind the door? So so sorry. <laughs> A call back to t year two with the waiter. Yep. Mm, no, electrical current makes my marrow tingle. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna cut that by hand. Okay. Thank you for the hint. <laughs> I was like, huh? God, that is such a cool scythe. Mm hmm. Love that scythe. Whoa! Manny, I knew you would. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. Y'all don't breathe. Wait, don't give her the scythe. I wanted to talk to her. See if maybe she'll finally listen to my apology. Mm hmm Thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? You look like you could use a nice ocean cruise. Still my travel agent, eh? <laughs> you look like you could use a... Okay. Still my travel agent, eh? Alright, well, now there's these suitcases over What's here. What's in these cases? Take a look. Tickets. It's all the double end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. 
Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double end tickets? That is a twist I wasn't seeing coming. Hmm. Okay, so even the uh, double nine tickets are counterfeit. Yep. Can I take the case? Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double end tickets? Okay. You look like you still nope. my travel agent, eh? Oh. Okay. Now. Yeah, getting out of the vault's pretty difficult, but yeah, oftentimes if um, something's in, on fire inside, you kind of got to get in there in a hurry. Okay, so we want to set fire to the tickets is what I'm gathering from that. There's a sprinkler system that looks to be up here. That home plumbing sprinkler yep. system looks like it's about to fall apart. But we don't... I, she won't let me... Borrow her lighter. Okay, what's this? Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Now, is that well, fire system as in it starts fires, or is that fire system as it puts out fires? Hopefully it puts out, but might want to, since it's nearly about to fall apart, might want to try to break it as a competent adventure uh... protagonist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet! Thank you, uh... Nippolopolis, interesting name. That is uh, that puts us one uh, one follower closer to a hundred. Awesome. Okay, break the fire system. Now all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? <laughs> no, but you can. You can still swim, Meche. I think you're gonna need a uh, bigger tool. All right. Good thing we have that automatic chisel. And the only place that that can reach is right here. I don't want to bust all that. Really? No. Can't use that tool. Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, I've been playing the remaster for a few uh, streams now, and yep. uh, I played the original years back, but I only got to, like, year two. So, like, this is all new for me as well. Mm-hmm. Uh... I don't want to bust all that. I think we're going to need a bigger tool. Okay, the only other... Oh yeah, tank controls? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we can drag the axe. Yep. Okay. Now, it's got to be draining somewhere because uh, the puddle isn't getting any bigger. Uh... Did I, the drain would have to be in the other room, because I don't see a drain in here. Yeah. Now, uh, it's in this room. Uh, theoretically, it's a loose pile. Now, which one it is, I'm... It's the one directly adjacent to a blue one, almost right under the system. So... Almost... Okay, so it would have to be... That one or the other one. Okay. Or any of the eight that's surrounding that central blue. Well, I'm trying to get him to turn properly, mm -hmm. but he is turning too much. And I think you want the head to um, be on the tile, the right? Tile, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Now the pot. Okay. So not likely that one. What was that, Manny? <laughs> Manny, you're killing me here.
Three hours later. Oh god, I hope not. This better not be the tree farm all over again. <laughs> okay, so that's at least two tiles eliminated. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can't, uh, find it out. Might as well try the center yeah. tile. Ah, it was the center tile. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> they could have just said center tile After instead of one adjacent to. <laughs> Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Galatis, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. How did the angels get free? Like crazy. Sure thing, Seth. I will save uh, when I first get an opportunity. Yep. I knew. I knew his. his oh wait, what? never mind. Uh... So, are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now, except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. That looks like a shark in the background. Uh oh. Oh, it's the octopus the in the octopus. sub- <laughs> I'll give you one job, Manny! And look at you, already screwing it up! You had one job, Manny. One job. Domino has a scythe of his own. Oh, yeah. Okay. Redeeming that save early, save often. Yep. In fact, I'm going to save twice. Well, the only way to fight scythe is with scythe. Yep. But I suppose we gotta poke out the eye of the octopus. <laughs> we could do that. Hey, Tiernivy! I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. You, Calvera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you. Oh goodness, that is... That uh, sucks! Okay, Stop. <laughs> right? Water way to go! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> also, that was really severe to see what happened to Domino. I know, like, it's stylized because there's skeletons and all, but yeah. that was actually kind of gruesome. That was some Indiana Jones stuff right there. Right? I, I, I was, I, I kind of, kind of saw it coming a little bit because the they were right there in the background. Yeah. But like, I wasn't. I was expecting it like a camera away. Yeah. Bugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glorious. Glorious. It does me. Glorious. Where'd you go this time? So we finished year three, and now we are on the final year four. Mm hmm. And so now we got to save our friend Glorious again. Saving again. <laughs> Ever since that corruption in year one, I have been so paranoid. <laughs> oh, I'd say you can go back up these. to see the rest of the people on their uh, on their way, but yeah. Oh my goodness, it's Bruno, Bruno. Bruno Martinez. You. <laughs> 
You were the guy who packed me in there. You could have at least given me a magazine. Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug. What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Also, we're still in a cutscene? Okay, that was weird. Mm hmm. We got a mug, though. Yep. Hello? Message on Discord. <sighs> They're empty. Oh, hey! Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, cool. Hey, I'm glad to see you. I did not recognize the name. <laughs> this is my friend uh, uh, Raconteur, or Default, or oh. Tier Envy. They are an amazing storyteller. Uh, great, great tabletop role player. Oh, I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, I'm so happy. I, you get to watch me play Grim Fandango. <laughs> this is my friend Gilded Tongue. He's helping me. Oh. Or they are helping me. I'm so sorry. Oh, that works. All That's the what we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. <laughs> okay, so we can't go out that way. Oh. All right, let's see here. Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. It's Nick? Wow. Oh, nope, they go to hell. Well, the whole group. <laughs> I feel a strange sense of catharsis from that. <laughs> I am so glad the bad people don't get to get away with that. Oh yeah, Seth. Man, I saw Nick on that and I was like, what the hell is Nick doing on that train? And then all of a sudden, just the sign flipped and I was like, ah, oh, yes. Schrodenfreude. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was so satisfying, especially after what he did to Lola. Mm. Alright, let's uh, talk to the gatekeeper again. Yeah. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Okay, that oh. is some metaphysics stuff. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. All right, thanks. that was Yeah, exactly. That was some cryptic nonsense. Well, it's not that I'm afraid or anything, but there are easier ways into the station, and I'm not walking back to Elmaro. Yeah. Okay. But what happened to... What about Gladys, though? Um... Visit the cement structure underneath the train tracks to find Gladys. Okay. Oh, he... Why is he... Buddy? <laughs> why are you... In the fountain. Hey, 
How'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine. I'm oh no, not again. Shine. This little light of mine. <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. This oh, and it's just gonna go mine. on until I'm he's gonna gone. Let it, shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that he gets to amble on into heaven, too. Yep. I mean, he wasn't a bad person at the least. Uh, maybe a bit stubborn and bullheaded, but... <laughs> okay, they said all gates go... I could actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back. But I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Okay, that's not what I was thinking, but... You know what? Good on you, Manny, for actually doing more than mm -hmm. that. Okay, you said structure under the gate, but yeah. that, but that, there's only two places. Yeah, that would have been hilarious if it had let me. I almost expected it to be like one of those flags where you can get a bad ending if you do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any other... Yeah, I think you'll have to leave here and... But hey, that's the mural, isn't it? That's on our save screen? Yeah, I think so. Oh, come on, Amble. I don't need a map now. I'm here. <laughs> he just keeps ambling around. I mean, he's already dead. <laughs> Again, yeah, what's he gonna do? Grow old and die? Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. Oh. Well, read the note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Lamans. Híjole. Anything else? Oh. I know what I've been yours truly, Hector Lamans. Okay. Well, I feel like this is a good point to save again. <laughs> that that felt like something uh save worthy. Yep. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. That's what you were talking about. Oh, yep. oh, oh. Little... Little Demons? Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this Grand Demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... He, I mean, he is a Speed Demon. What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization. All right, I'll, so I'll drink some water, Seth. Why, why what? did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired, and then uh, I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! Who are you guys? We are mechanics! But we have never before seen one of our kind so... So large! <laughs> oh, so they're all speed demons! Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. I've got to go see what I can do. <laughs> Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. Hmm. Okay. So, my first instinct is to convince them to remodel one of the uh, 
driving cars. But they would yeah, need... but they're gonna need some blueprints to do that. Exactly. Might want to tr wanna try talking to your friend before you know. Oh, he wait. loses time. Okay, I thought we wouldn't be able to talk to him. Okay. Thank you for setting me on the straight and marrow. Uh -huh. Gladys, I'm sorry. Manny. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Aww. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, carnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work. It could save me if you have the right... <coughs> The right <coughs> you What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. Okay, so we need fuel. We need fire. We Richie, need that would be the fire. Oh Gladys. Back when uh, Metallica was still tolerable? <laughs> yep. Okay. He needs fuel. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. <laughs> Interesting. Well, um, hey, there's a mug right there. I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. This right here? I've already well. got a mug, and quite a handsome one at that, I might add. Okay. Whoa. Oh! It's oh. filthy. My goodness. Full of AP phone. Yeah. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. <laughs> Can we take um, that? the little mechanics toast their tiny English muffins in. Yep. Unlike um, most drawers, these ones actually can be opened. You sure? I'm clicking on... Okay, there we go. It's full of rags. Well, take a rag. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just true to life. I've worked long enough as a housekeeper to know that is just a fact. Yep. <laughs> Anything else in there, or is it just rags? It's full of rags. Okay. Well, yep. Well, we're going to have to do some, um, some fun stuff here. So... Uh, we're going to need to um, get that rag a little bit soaked. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. This better not stay in my pocket. All right. Well, we're going to... don't need to put it in your pocket. Um, you know that uh, that toaster could use a polishing. Really? <laughs> I love these obtuse hints that you're giving me. What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! <laughs> well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now. Nice! Arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink... <laughs> Speed is the food of the great glottis. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. Okay, this is pretty rad. I'm not gonna lie. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. 
rocket powered gondola. You sure this thing's going to hold together? Uh, at least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to Rubacaba. Manny? Manny? Manny, where are you? Manny! I'm Thank you, Nap, for the friend. Oh, okay. I'll get I'll get a stretch in, Nap. Uh, right, exactly. Good, good point. And hey, this is where the speed uh, bone wagon is, not speed demon. <laughs> we just helped no. the speed demon. Ah, oh, goodness. Ah, Rubicaba! What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Ah, Hold nice. Gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now, except maybe our old car. Yeah. It's Mio. She's been booby trapped. By who? <laughs> who? Domino. I'm gonna guess Domino. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Domino. <laughs> also, didn't Domino die not too long ago? Mm, no. Yeah, he got fed into the bone grinder. Uh, no, that was our boss. No, our, our uh, boss is, um, Don. Oh. Well, maybe it was before he left. I have to assume so. Okay. But, there's nothing we can do here right now. Yeah, probably said uh, it before I left. Don't we get some, uh, some of our bones inked. The tattoo parlor. Sailor Naraha is going to be there too, I bet. Possibly. Funny, we spent all this time in Rubicava and I almost have it memorized. <laughs> yeah. You said tattoo parlor. I was like, I know where that is. <laughs> and I know how long it takes him to get into it, too. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my goodness. Time. He's still asleep? Oh. Okay. No. I am. I am an artist. No. I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. I don't want to wake up Toto. You asked yeah. for Bonnie. I don't want to wake up Toto. I don't want to wake up Toto. Yeah, try the cabinet. Picking that up. Okay, cabinet, cabinet. Quit whining. Oh, there's the cabinet right there. I kill you. Okay, so some. That'll be interesting. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> so we got some tattoo ink. Not quite. I just will take giving it an examine. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Interesting. Um. Have you watched any of Innuendo Studios' uh, YouTube videos on adventure games? I have not. I've never actually even heard of that. No, uh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, feel free to send me a link in either Discord or drop it in the, the chat or anything. I, I will give that a look. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, next, uh, might have to head over to the docks. See if there's any other way that for us to get out of here. All right. Talk to the captain. Manuel Calavera. <laughs> well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to. The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well. We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding <laughs> my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. But how are mob you going to get there? Hmm. Anyway, we probably have to pick up his, uh... Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Ship in a bottle. <laughs> yep. Oh, 
let's go check out, see if the um, hippies are still uh, snapping their, you know, knuckle bones. Okay, you said hippies, and for some reason, my brain thought the bees. I was like, they're not hippies. <laughs> Oh, it's empty. Hmm. I will definitely check that out. I love adventure games. I'm going to be doing more adventure games on my stream, for sure. Oh, that's a lot of food. I don't need the hernia. Okay. But I do predict that I have to puncture it. Right here. Okay, maybe not. Well, I mean, usually they have taps. Oh, okay, you just can't see it. <laughs> That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. <laughs> Okay. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. <laughs> he is ratting us out. I absolutely believe that she is writing us out right now. I do not trust her one bit. Mm. Well, uh, we all know when um, our best friend's here, he does like to drink. Glottis? Yep. I, I thought his thing was gambling, though. Drinking, gambling, same diff. <laughs> Pony kegs always have taps? I did not know that. You'd think I would because I've been, I've grew up around alcohol so much, but I've also tried to avoid it. Here, buddy, drink this ship in a bottle. Uh. Come on, animation. No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Oh, my goodness. It happened again. Okay, one moment, folks. Gotta, gotta restart the game. Man, this game would kill me to have, like, an auto-save feature. You would think. Oh my goodness, that is so long back. Well... Okay, I still got one more thing to set up. And then we should be good to go. Mm. Oh, this isn't too far back. It's not too far back, but I cannot believe we got... We got another glitch in, in the game. Oh, goodness. I'd say we lost about 10 minutes worth of progress. Yeah, but stuff that we can do quicker. <laughs> yes. Especially since I now know what I'm doing. Nah, well, you're fine, Beth. Oh no, you're, you're perfectly fine. Uh, we especially know what we're grabbing now. Yep. If you hit period, do you hurt. skip... Um, Videos? I'm sorry? Oh, I was about to say, period, space, or escape usually um, 
in a lot of these games kit uh, skips cutscenes. Oh yeah, usually it'll give me a prompt if I want to skip a cutscene, but that's in actual cutscenes. For when I have to skip dialogue, it'll just let me sure. click through it. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of games that get remastered versions, Seth, uh, they tend to uh, create new bugs. Mob down. Okay, grab the bottle. Maybe I'll just. Yeah, because now these are operating on uh, hardware that it could not even dream about before. Oh yeah, absolutely. I know, like one of the most common runtime errors is that um, the game, the engine, is being operated so fast by modern systems that it causes load errors as a result. Yep. I don't know if that's what's happening here. Um, because I mean, it is a remastered port. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, is it just me or the um? That's what the Gull faces on needed. the border. Fake is that papyrus? It does look kind of yeah. like papyrus. Yeah. I just... Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. I will definitely agree. It does look like papyrus doing his, like, <laughs> shocked, surprised face. Mm hmm. Oh, the bugs are probably also applicable to the original. I mean, typically, LucasArts games are really good. But nothing is perfect. Exactly. Okay. Let's Approach try from a different angle. Exactly. Oh, it did it again, but this time I saved. Yep. All right, one moment. Let me fix that again, because it won't let me access the uh, menu for some reason. Alright. And we're back now again. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So let's yeah, try talking to Yeah. Don't panic. Yeah! Don't panic. Yeah! Okay. Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. Don't panic. Yeah! Okay. So I've now talked with him. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm freaking out again, so I'm going to save again. <laughs> and so now... Oh my goodness, it is just perpetually glitching you... right here. Yeah. What is going on? <coughs> That's a good question. Alright, let me try and get this fixed. I am so sorry that this keeps happening, folks. Click the wrong button there for a moment. Grim Fandango Glottis Glitch. Bottle bug spoilers. Okay. Alright, yes. Before I uh, glitch the game out again, what is the workaround that the internet has <laughs> graciously found? Okay, so in year four, you're supposed to get the bottle filled with blue liquid to Gladys and the game bugs out where Gladys keeps turning and can't move or anything or even pause the game. I found that you have to be outside where the dominoes are for this to work. If you're in the room with the dominoes, it doesn't happen. And the game continues as normal. Oh my goodness gracious. That's some bad programming. <laughs> What's that? It's uh, <laughs> it just jumps. Lemonade. Try it. Mm. 
perky little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad, tall. <whistles> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Lumbago! Hurry. Don't worry, this won't take long. No. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. Now, I almost expect that we have to give him the liquid nitrogen. Not into him, but let's talk to him for a bit. Alright. I saved again, just to be sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So what is that stuff they pack can hams in anyway? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I don't see how this solves the Domino Root Goldberg show, machine. My friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. Now, take did this, a look at the handiwork. Did the, the game work. just sad trombone me? I think so. That is, um... That's a lot of alcohol, he just... Yeah, yeah, this this certainly looks like a flood him out type of situation, yep. Cole. <laughs> now, um, typically old school dominoes are made out of bone. Whale bone, in fact. Yeah. I was thinking that we would have to use this on the uh, dominoes, but I didn't see how. And this makes a lot more sense now. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Wait, it froze? Mm-hmm. Hey, right. now take a look at the car. Wait, actual look at the car? Yep. Okay. Soon to be known as the blown wagon. Hey, that's not funny! I think it's funny. <laughs> but we're gonna have to disarm the bomb. I presume we're gonna use our scythe to disarm the bomb. Uh, and just Looks like everything is kind of um, held in place. We just might have to just do it with our bare hands. Really? I figured we could just cut the fuse. I don't want to mess up my blade. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, panic save. Absolutely. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Nice. Oh, wait, Olivia came with us? Really? Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. Ah, <laughs> uh, Olivia led them straight fire. here. Uh -oh. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Okay, never mind. I, I, I'm expecting the worst of Olivia every time. <laughs> also, I'm glad that people can be saved from being sprouted. Your new lab assistant is a spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. 
I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. <laughs> uh, I okay, still don't. Uh, yeah, I still don't trust her. I still don't trust her. All right, Jim. I am going to save as soon as I get the opportunity, for sure. Thank you very much for redeeming that. As soon as I get the opportunity. Okay, there we go. Yes, never know. Again, this game has glitched out in two areas that we've had to basically internet search our way through. <laughs> but Cole, Cole helped us with the first one. It, it was his assistance that got us through the first corruption zone. Oh yeah, and that one was crazy because it was glitching through the um, puzzle. All right, uh, time for yep. I'm taking a drink of water right now. Ah, nice. Okay. So there's Eva. Up. Oh, okay. Now they want me to stretch. And if I'm doing it, you gotta do it too, Gildy. I know. Ugh. All right. I'm all slimbered up. I've got some water in me again. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna complete this today. I feel like we are definitely getting close to the end. I don't think we have to we worry about overtime mode. It depends on how we how fast we do this, but yeah, we should be okay. We'll definitely get it done by tonight. Okay, so let's talk with I forget Eva. Her name is Eva. No. Any messages for me? No. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog though. Oh. Uh, that's interesting. Let's use our computer. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, AKA the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. Pick up the carrier, Come here, little manny. <laughs> Ow! Hey, must be a little mechy. <laughs> you might want to see what Salvador tried to throw away. Oh, uh, yeah, we will want to inspect the soldier. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. But the birds find whoever I you show, show them. This photo, he'll fly off without anything to deliver. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, even even naturally, I'm on the right track. Oh yeah. Better save this part from sprouting. Okay, so now we got some guy's arm. Yep. Give it to the pigeon, I guess. Would you like a bone, little guy? Ow! Not one of mine. <laughs> did we give it to him? No, we did not. Yeah, let's talk to Menche about what's going on. Okay. Don't want to give her the bone, or do I? <laughs> okay, here's the. I plan. mean, I need I a disguise so I can get close to Hector and a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. <laughs> Okay, so she just took off. Yep. Well, we might want to head out of here. It looks like there's not much going on. Alright, we still have the liquid nitrogen, surprisingly enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello down there. Ooh, never mind. Back to sleep, whatever you are. Uh oh. Right? Okay. So we need a gun? Yeah. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> 
Yeah, how about we head to that ladder in that last screen? Okie dokie. Get away from the darkness, we might be eaten by a Gru. Right? We need a torch. There, yeah. there just might be a Gru in this game, you never know. Part of me is a little sad that this game has glitched out so much, but I'm still really enjoying it. Oh, same. A casino? I gotta figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. There's a casino in El Mero? Yeah, there has been since you've been there. It's been a couple of years. But the casinos were in Rubicava. I mean, it's true, we didn't really explore much of er El Mero. It's yeah. not like Johnny Thunderlet's just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. No kidding. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to get to hear the rest of the conversation? A real Mmm, uh, uh. show business coffee. So if it ain't nailed down, it is ours. Little too hot for my pockets, thank you. Hmm. Oh, no! Oh no, 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 no! What are we looking? There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought Manny was gonna kill these poor fools. Oh, no, 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 no. But, um, I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna head to that ladder back there. And, you know, climbing with one hand, that's actually a pretty decent feat. Right? Ah! Ow! Oh, what did you do that for? I didn't, I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. Oh, well, that was peculiar. <laughs> Well, I didn't see them drop anything. No. Nope. But now we can, uh, yeah, can... Hey, kid. This is your lucky day. We got an opening, and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down. We got to start your makeup. Now, don't go too far. You never know what time is showtime around here. That voice actress sounded so familiar. Oh my goodness, I, I don't- I wonder if that's who I thought it was. Well, possibly. Uh, I can't remember her name right now. Immediately going to the bathroom. <laughs> For what reason? Ay, que alivio. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. <laughs> Pamela Adlin? That okay. might have been. I was thinking, uh, I, I might be getting the name wrong. I was thinking Christy Kavanaugh. So, I recognize many can now enter the casino from the tunnel. This... that looks like a little kid in a trench coat. <laughs> Something strange is going on under that raincoat. It is a kid- it is two kids in a trench coat! Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Oh no, wait, it's the- it's the soldier? Calavera. You? 
Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from our arch enemy at the same time. I guess that makes sense. I mean, that's a, a justification for gambling, if I've ever heard one. I can talk to him again, see what else is up to. All right, I figure we have to give him his arm back. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? Sounds like he's rigging them. I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Oh, so he's just <laughs> straight up robbing them. Never mind. Okay. I think that would be disrespectful. Really? I think that would be disrespectful. Yeah, we'll need that for something I think else. That would be disrespectful. Um, so. Should we talk gonna... about Go ahead. Um, yeah, we can uh, talk to Menche twice to uh, get what she's got going on. Buenos dias. Back off, sleazeball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. <laughs> Hola. That's Menche? No drinks for me, thanks. That's Charlie! Ah, uh, but Menchi is the one with the sheep. Menchi, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Menchi got this sheet for Charlie. Uh, well, I, I thought that you were going to use it. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Not funny. Now, uh, while you're talking about the sheet, talk to the covert agent. So, uh, the guy who's in the trench coat. Okay. Young lady. Special assignment just yeah. in from Salvador. Crack that machine and leave uh, the change right away. Uh, yes, sir! Ah. Uh, hey! Oh, for crying out loud. Young lady. Ah. Not funny. Oh. I did it. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Oga. Come, my lovely. <laughs> I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. Try using the bathroom. Are we gonna take his clothes? I'm not sure how we're gonna fit, but you know, it's a little tight. The shoulders, but but the price was right. Sled dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I talked over Manny because I wanted to quote Final <laughs> Fantasy VI. Yep. Um. So we're gonna have to head back to the tunnels for a little bit. All right. Um, let's see. Try in the previous library game and approach the Snowmaker Machine. Snowmaker Machine? Oh, I'm back at the tunnels. Yeah, try heading back to where Glottis is. That uh, ladder up there where the headquarters is? Okay, I guess it is. Hmm.
Oh, wait. It might be this weird thing right here. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. Oh, yeah. That would probably get me court-martialed. <laughs> calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Yeah, you know what? That makes me think that she's not on the up and up. Hmm. Let's see here. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Nothing to see but hmm. flowers. Bet if I could get that plant lover out of there, I could talk him into making a gun for me instead. Okay, so that's how we get the gun. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, with the desires, Manny can now enter the casino from the tunnel. Climb the previous ladder again and approach this. Okay, maybe head up to where the actors were? I don't know if it was a space mutiny throwback. It might have been Seth. Uh. Come on, Manny. Come on, Manny. I gave you a direction. <laughs> he just stops sometimes. Got coffee. Is it showtime yet? Ah, Johnny Thunder still hasn't rolled in yet. You know these prima donna crooners. Hey, you're talking about oh. Johnny Thunder. Sorry. No maker. Um, yeah, try up. Stairs. I'm thinking of like a snow machine. Like this right yeah, here? Yeah, there it is. Uh, this snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha, uh -huh. it's a handheld grinder. Alright, so we can take it. And we can so. pocket it. Okay. Uh, it says use soldier's arm on the grinder. Oh, that so. is... That is gruesome. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta put the grinder back. And then we have to operate it. Come on, the revolution! Right? I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. He's still alive, though! <laughs> and then we need the grinder. Alright. Okay. We've got the high roller suit, so finding Hector. But the disguise and tank intact, return to the resistance hideout. So yeah, let's head back to headquarters. All right. This is a weird disguise, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks like um, you're you're ready to... Uh... Go wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh, okay. Uh, Luchadore! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... We have to scare the um, weapons manufacturer. So, um, we've got a threatening piece of information here. You mean this, uh, art installation right here? <laughs> no, I was thinking more of the note. Oh! Oh my goodness! That's saying, I am going to kill you. You're right! From his boss. That is so hey, silly. This is a note. You like notes, remember? 
and so then we use the picture. Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolucion! For me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Le Mans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! You'll never find my secret out of that door. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores! Oh, shoot! That was fast! <laughs> Oh, the stream froze? Oh. Is it is it going okay for everyone? Or is, do I need to like restart the Let, Let's save. Okay, oh, there okay. it goes. There it goes. Let's save. <laughs> yes, definitely going to save for sure. Okay, it looks fine for Jim, so I think it was just Twitch being a butt. Yeah. Man, I, I got panicky there for a moment. Yes, I just saved Jim. I, I was psychic. I could feel it in the <laughs> airwaves. I knew someone was going to redeem that. Oh, okay, you saw me do it anyway. Never mind. I thought I beat you at it. <laughs> okay. Do we need one of these convenient little paper slips? I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> Both of y'all just told me no. Um. Oh, so approach, shoot. Glottis is gone. Yeah, approach the tunnel ladder to get. Give me that. <laughs> no, okay. so high. Watch the chrome. <laughs> Interesting. So, let's uh, head deeper into the tunnels now. I saw Bowsley run down here, but where did he go? Um... Now, uh, use the grinder with the arm inside of it on the right-hand tunnel. That doesn't seem particularly easy to figure out. It's a it's a Hansel and Gretel situation. Yeah. Hmm. Bowsley's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without well, without something really helpful. Then you'll find the bone tip to react with the Flakes split of bone. Okay. pillar. I oh, think yeah. I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Baby tears. Hey, what's that? I... That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! Oh. Um... Yep, let's use that remote. Let's get some height. And exit the vehicle onto the higher ledge. I'm going to save again. Yep. <laughs> Something tells me that disaster can strike. Yep. Not the game, mind you. But rather so, the game's when the programming. Game turns around, quickly climb back up so it doesn't advance. And then use the remote again. Yeah. 
So now... Crap. Crap. Yep, now he can't get us. Saving again. <laughs> yep. Save early, save I often. You. You better back uh, off, probably... I mean it, I'm not feeling too rosy. Yeah, I'm to having... say, he's probably feeling feel... a little paranoid, so. I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna probably got some traps here. going on. Yeah, man. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? Now, there should be a. I yeah. Love Is that so wrong? Hey, do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box. Do get out of here right now, or I'll let you have it. I'll. Now we can head in again, and the bell. Should... Hey there, stranger. <laughs> that. Can I help you? Um. Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. What just happened? I'm not exactly sure. What? But, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't want to go through that weirdness ever again. Yep. So let's head back to the casino. We've got a disguise, we've got a gun. Like, that wasn't even a sale. Like, he was paranoid and he had a trap set up. And we yep. disarmed the trap and he threatened us, so we left. Mm -hmm. And then we walked back in and triggered the doorbell, and he just gave us what we asked for, plus ammo. Pavlov's dogs? Right? Well, Hector's on the top of this place, and I don't feel like uh, doing a, uh, you know, uh, Shinra run up to the roof, so let's take the elevator. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the Shinra staircase run. Yep. When you really uh, don't want to fight a whole bunch of enemies, but the game punishes you anyway. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey dokey, then answer me this one simple question. Huh. Okay, what is Hector Lamans' favorite prime number? Well, I have to assume it's number one. But what's the real answer? Okay, so it'll be answered on the Kino uh, thing just above your head. Really? So what proposes is a prime number? I have to assume 27. Yep. 27. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. Hmm. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How old was Hector Lamans? Ah, uh, the newest number. So, 25 then. 25. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. <laughs> that was peculiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These puzzles are getting more and more peculiar as we reach the end of the game, and I'm starting to get the impression that uh, they were running out of ideas pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah. But we are getting very close to, uh... It's Celso! Yeah. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> 
Is this your wife, Soso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. Oh my. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your It questions. does feel like a bit like a puzzle yeah, padding. Handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double N tickets? This price seems much more than double. Hmm. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho ho ho! Don't try any of that. Uh oh. Okay, so now we have a dialogue puzzle. Um, the real question is, is from buying don't you any feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. <laughs> well... They cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... <laughs> I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. <laughs> I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. So we couldn't convince him to not buy a ticket, but we convinced him to buy a ticket? Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, well. Still got it. Time to head in. Time to save, more like it. <laughs> I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. Well, there's two good coffee. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And <laughs> as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. Uh... My name's Calavera. And I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. I... Don't turn your back! Okay, well, that didn't go how I thought it was gonna go. Oh. And we get another sad trombone? <laughs> also, he he turned the DOD into a casino. That's what just. Yep. I just realized that, because that was our actual office, wasn't it? Yep. 
That wasn't quite a sad trombone as much as a sad saxophone. We that might is... want to save. Yes, good point. <laughs> Saving now. <laughs> well, really no way to get down but up. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Check that gargoyle. Yeah. It's the only thing I could see. It's weird how the base is interactive, but the actual gargoyle is not. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Okie dokie, taking a drink of water, Seth. Oh. Thank you for that redemption. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger hand for that. Now you say bigger hand. This is the only thing I can think of. I mean, it's got a hand. Well, so much for my third arm. I think I know what's next. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Wait, well, well, Okay. But you know something that uh, also affects with um, bone. Oh, we poured it into the cracks. Yep. Well, it was gonna happen eventually. Oh, that's a dirty joke. Wow, they snuck that one under the radar. <laughs> How fresh! That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help. Is she gonna betray us like I think she is? We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Uh-oh. I knew she was gonna betray us. Time for you to swing, Daddy-o. Let's see you walk. I knew it, too. This is it, the final scene. These uh, we'll be going a little bit. All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. Let's just do a uh, save. Mm hmm. We still have our own gun, don't we? I think that's the one that she has got. Ah, okay. How'd she take it from us? What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. I guess that makes sense. Okay, I guess we're going up. Because I thought we would splash her with the uh, liquid nitrogen. Mm. Probably some way to try to get in. Uh, I, I, I'll explain the, the dirty joke over Discord later, Seth. But it has to do with how the sign fell. 
and then what Manny said almost immediately after. Not picking that up. I didn't say pick it up. <laughs> she loves me. Oh, okay, so Hector is uh, s survived. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. Oh. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast acting Sproutella. This slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> get it? Leave! <laughs> oh, we gotta get rid of that bad bone. Well, the good thing we have something that kills... that eat, melts bones. We have to use it on ourselves, though. That is mm -hmm. surprising. I wonder if this is timed. Like, if I we... mean, you said it takes hours, so... I mean, remember, you can still lose in Monkey Island if you try yeah. to leave the the water early. Mm -hmm. ah. Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <laughs> so now we gotta pay Olivia back. Because yeah. Hector thinks we're dead, and she's too busy being dumb. Yeah. Well, Salvador's still ahead of the game. Oh! Okay, so we gotta get Sal uh, Salvador. Okay. Huh? I'm gonna save again. I thought maybe we'd, like, kick her or something? I don't know. <laughs> Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right, and tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Okay, so that's how she goes. Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! Good! Ah! Good! Ah! That is so satisfying to see these bad people get their comeuppance like that. <laughs> I feel bad for Sal because he genuinely believed in his revolution. He's fine yeah. right where he is. Okay, so now we gotta find his body. He said it was... I'll check the suitcase. Oh, check the suitcase, okay. Yep. You might have an actual useful tool there. After I deal with Hector. Hey! My scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. Oh, that is just tragic. Yeah. They could have not done that, and oh man, that actually hurts a little because like he was so close, oh, yeah. like to getting out. And, yeah, you can take a look at it. Oh, okay. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Not picking that up. 
But we can. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Oh, okay. We can use it to find his body. Yep. It just went to his head because that's the closest part of his body available. Mm hmm. Now we're gonna have to head to the meadow. I should have thought of that when they said, like, oh, it, it, it's drawn to the person who they belong to. Yep. The meadow behind the greenhouse. So I think, yeah, you have to go to the greenhouse and then continue on. I'm not doing anything now. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. I'm not doing anything now. So, with Ticket Out, walk to the spot where it vibrates the most. I'm not doing anything now. Well, it's and when you find head. the right spot, the ticket will jump out of Manny's hand and a cutscene begins. So. Oh, okay, so it'll do it automatically. Yeah. Okay, definitely cold there. See, so maybe in that dark patch that's, uh, yeah, right above where your mouse is. Right? This does suck that they get roped into this scam. It is good that yeah. the tickets at least go to their the people they belong to. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. I'm not doing anything now. I'm not doing anything now. I'm not doing anything now. Let's see here. Nope, oh, there we go. Ah. Got it. Actually using a scythe for its intended purpose? I kind of like the poetic nature of that. He's fine right where he is. All right, I meant to find the gun. <laughs> well, you got to get the key to get the gun. Oh, that's right. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Man, did I call it or what that Olivia was going to betray us? I mean, she was acting a little bit, you know. I mean, I suppose that's fair. Oh my goodness, man, he's actually moving at a reasonable speed. Yeah. So. Ah, are we yes. gonna go for the, uh... Lots of ammo. Go for the gunfight, or, uh... Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Well, definitely save. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling this is the last puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Optional, engage and shoot out with Hector at Greenhouse. But what's the other option? Um... Well, there's another object you can shoot. This right here? Alright, gonna drink some victory water. Doesn't sound good. No, it sounds like he's getting his just rewards. <laughs> and thank you for the redemption nap. I took some water while that happened. Yep. A, a last drink for the last puzzle, indeed.
All right, Cole, I'll stretch as well. Oh, he exploded? Got hit with all of the uh, flower. Ah, oh, good, good, good stretch too. Ugh. Since I'm in the home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see if this goes. Oh. We have not been sent to hell. That is a good sign. How did Manny get on the train, though? If you want, they're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, Manny, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess Aww. I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but Aww. I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Aww. Give me a, give me a hug. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you were the best boss. I have had. That is really touching. <laughs> <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Oh, it even re ends in a not-forced romance. Yep. Oh, and even has a dedication. Yeah. That's really sweet. But that is Grim Bending. Oh, that was really nice. Yep. I'm glad I finally got to play this game to completion. No, me too. Well, you played, but yeah, I mean, you you were there. No, there here. <laughs> you you played too. You assisted me. We did this together. Mm -hmm. Man, that was a good story. Like they, I have a lot of thoughts about that because, like, at least for the first two to three years, mm -hmm. like Manny did some questionable things for oh, sure, yeah. and his initial motivation was selfish. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Pamela Seagal was Pugsley, not Pamela uh, Adlo, or Adlon. Yeah. Maybe name change? Uh, I, I was paying attention to the, the cast of characters, just to be sure. Yeah. But man, that was... I genuinely enjoyed it. Like, okay, I do feel like Year three, kinda was weirdly zany and didn't necessarily is what she's credited as. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Carmine. I thought maybe yeah. she had a name change or something, but that's if that's what she's credited as. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was definitely. Um, uh, bit bit darker in year three. Oh, she got married! That's what it is. Yes. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Gildy. Aw, oh, thank you, Seth. Oh, thank, thank you again you. for the cheer. <laughs> um... No, that does suck. Yeah. That is a real shame, too, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that he's still around, though. For mm -hmm. sure. But, uh... But, uh... 
yeah, the uh, the setting, the characters, and uh, the music. Um, the game does drip with style. It's uh, for being really the swan song of Lucas Arts Adventure Game. Uh, well, technically, Monkey Island Four came out afterwards, but yeah. But that was but, less that was less Lucas Arts and more of their restructuring department. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I was gonna say, uh, year three felt a little awkward. Um, mm -hmm. I, I feel like that would have taken forever if I didn't have your help on that. Oh yeah. Uh, year four, while it did go by really quickly, um, they definitely- It was a culmination of everything, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, I did really enjoy that though. Uh, and while it was short, we did get to see Manny's motivation change. And mm -hmm. while there wasn't a lot of buildup between him and Meche and their relationship, yeah. It didn't feel forced as it could be. Like, mm -hmm. like when they first met each other, there was definitely some friction, and yeah. like they didn't immediately just fall in love either. Like, oh, no. it felt like the romance was more like blooming at the end of the game rather than just having been there. I, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe... and it wasn't just all antagonistic, and the antagonism got them together. It was Manny actually changing that got them together. Yes, 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 yes. Big point. Big point right there, for sure. But man, I I really enjoyed this. I I'm so glad that I that we decided to do this. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming along, Gildy. Oh my pleasure. Oh man. I'd say this is a, a little better than um, Full Throttle, or a lot of things are. <laughs> I, I was considering doing Full Throttle, but that game is kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, there's some fun stuff on Full Throttle, and it's always great to hear Mark Hamill, but yeah. Um, but... Uh, Certainly. Very special thanks to George Lucas. Yes. Who's, well, very wealthy now. Uh, I was afraid that the music With might have been drowning us out there at the end. I didn't want to uh, skip the... Th uh, I didn't want a chance entering the menu if it mm -hmm. would skip the credits. Because I like to have the credits go by before I wrap up the stream. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like to make sure that the people who work on the game get, like... Like, we get to see that, that what they contributed. Like, I feel like it's the oh, least yeah. we could do. But, and, uh, uh, it was nice that uh, each of the um, uh, musicians were uh, just credited individually there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Rather than just in bulk. Oh, man, I... I feel really satisfied. This was this is one of my favorite uh, adventure games now, for sure. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. like I don't like some of the puzzles. The tree farm yep. puzzle, and um, what was the other one that was really obtuse? Uh, the crane one in um, three. Actually, year three had a lot of just bad puzzles. The crane, the um, floor tile. The floor um, tile. Yeah, that was that was really awkward. Because it doesn't even really tell you about it. Yeah, how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to break one of the tiles other than, oh, they're colored differently. <laughs> it's all that I, yeah, it's all that I can do. Man, this would have gone a lot longer if you hadn't been here to be my co-pilot. That was, <laughs> that was really awesome. Oh, man. So I just want to take this moment while the credits are rolling to thank everyone who joined me in yeah. the stream. I want to thank you all. I really do appreciate you stopping by and watching the stream and hanging out with us. We've, uh, I just want to give a shout out to everyone. We've got Carmine, we've got Cole, we've got Jim and Nap, and we've got Seth and Taryn Envy. Uh, thank you guys uh, for being a part of this with us. Uh, it was yep. really, really nice. Uh, we've got a few other people. I don't know if they're uh, information trawlers, though. Yep. Uh, 
Otherwise, Nuclear Pigeons sounds like a really cool name. Yes, that does. Nuclear Pigeons does sound like a really cool name. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, we've also got Bible Thumps. Bibby Thump. Bibby, oh, yeah. Bibby Bibble. Thumps? Bibble yeah. Thumps. Or, no, that, that spells Bible. Bible Thumps. I guess. And Commander Root. And have this too. Yes, I know those two are definitely uh, information uh, gathering. Gather. Yep. Yes. Making sure we're not doing anything terrible, like, you know, telling you to uh, seize the means of destruction. Uh, I would... You have nothing to lose but your chains. <laughs> I would rather seize the means of production rather than destruction. Um. I, I, I do hope that the troubleshooting went well for your PC, for sure. I'm glad that you enjoyed having me on in the background, and I hope yeah. you'll uh, join me for more streams. Uh, I definitely love doing this a lot. Uh, it's uh, uh, very enjoyable. Thank you, for playing. Yes, thank you. So, um, I guess this is it. So I'm going to move us to the end card. Yep. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, While that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and get that so it doesn't interfere. But uh, let me take this moment to uh, thank Toby Bento Box and Xenia Rose, as always, for mm. contributing art to the stream and all of their art assets and channel points and uh, channel redeemables. It's been a great help. And Gentle Bruce, who allowed the use of his music that is playing right now. Oh, my ending music is muted again? Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Nap. Ending music should be going now. That is the second time that has done that in a row. <laughs> that is so weird. But yes, uh, of course, I want to thank all of y'all for joining me for the stream. Um, I do want to say if you liked what you saw and if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider giving me a follow if you aren't. Absolutely. Uh, also, for those in chat who are interested, I'm only two subscribers away from unlocking another emote. So, uh, maybe consider that. Maybe. I'm not trying to twist anyone's arm, but uh, I'm kind of hoping to unlock all the emotes that I can. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I want to thank you, Gildy, one more time for joining me. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. And uh, I'm going to let the music play out. And I hope everyone has a good night. Join me again on Monday with a new game. Take care, everyone. Adios, muchachos. Yeah.